Hello guys, welcome back to Kuzon Gaming And today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install Vita 3K on Android Alright, we'll go to step number one First thing first, you have to download Vita 3K Android on GitHub It's the only official one Don't download it on Play Store because it contains virus and malware So beware Okay all we have to do is to wait until the download finish. Just wait and be patient until it's done downloading. Alright, it's done. All you have to do is to find the file or just click on notification and then install the application. Installing and done, but that's only the first step. Download and install Vita 3K. Usually, you can find the APK in download folder, or if you are using IDMP or 1DMP like me, you can find it in 1DMP folder inside program folder. We'll go to step number two. All you have to do is open the application and then you have to select the language there is no Indonesian language at the moment so select English download firmware and you will be directed to PlayStation site download update I already have the file so I don't download it go back to Vita 3k select the language again and download the font package loading I already have the file as well so I will skip it select the language again select install firmware file and then click next we'll go to file manager once again select PSPU update.pup Wait until installation in progress done. Wait, wait, wait. We wait longer. We wait, we wait until it's done. Wait, wait, wait. Almost done and done. But it's not done yet. We still have to install the phone package. Don't forget to select install firmware file and then click next once again. We'll go to file manager, select psp to updatepup wait until installation in progress done, and it's done. Now the firmware has been successfully installed. You can see the cross mark has been changed to checklist mark. Okay, time to go to next setting. Info bar visible better be on checklist. Grid mode better be on checklist also because these two settings will make the emulator become heavier in the start menu. And we don't want that to happen. Click next. Okay, it's done. Okay, we have to create user. Uh, on this one, you don't have to read it. Just unchecklist this and close. And we create user. You can name your username with whatever you want. I'm going with Mamoru. And don't forget to give a space at the end because otherwise it will not be saved. Okay, username done. Checklist on automatic user login. Click on the screen. Alright, we'll go to step number 3. And that's it to check the compatibility list before downloading any games because you don't want to regret it. You can find the compatibility list website on description. When you download the game, make sure you download the no NPDRM format and it has to be on zip extension. If you already download the games, we will see there is a 7z extension, zip extension and rar extension. While the emulator only support the zip extension, 
but don't worry too much because you can still change from RAR to ZIP or 7Z to ZIP using Z archiver. Using Z archiver, you have to locate where you download the file. Okay, IDMP, 1DMP, and compress. Choose the file you want to change to ZIP. It has to be in RAR or 7Z and then extract extracting progress okay then hold on click on the folder you just extracted and compress to zip compressing progress it will take a while until it finished almost finished we wait and we wait until it's done almost there All right, it's done. You can just delete the extracted file. We delete it, permanently delete. And the raw one, you can also delete. And done. You can also move the past Vita games file into one folder so you can easily find it so they don't get mix up with other files that doesn't even relate it okay move into folder past vita okay done okay the fourth step is to install the game finally okay we choose file and then install zip vpk select file we go to the file explorer, just the folder. Okay, so PS Vita. And just the file you want to install. Okay. Just wait until the installation is done. It will take a while depending on the application size just wait and be patient okay it's done see now the game is in the application list fifth step is to configure the emulator file emulation debug configuration control and help we start with configuration and just setting you don't have to change the setting for now especially if you are using the same device as I am Helio G85 you don't have to change anything just use default setting for now if you want the FPS to be shown you just have to check the performance overlay and set the detail to maximum okay here is the GUI you don't have to check this or this because it will make the emulator get happier just check live area up screen okay done just save and close just control overlay if you are using gamepad like I do, you can choose to unchecklist the show gamepad overlay in game. If you are using touchscreen gamepad, you can just modify gamepad layout and then checklist the show gamepad overlay in game. Don't forget to checklist. Okay, now done. Just controls and controllers. You'll see it's connected. 
if your controller has been successfully connected. If not, it will show like this. Okay, let's connect once again. And it's done. Okay, now let's play the game.
back to the main menu okay I will tell you what happened if you install 7z file type or rar file type okay let's find the 7z file type first okay metal slope okay this one is 7z and you see it doesn't want to install okay let's find rar file type okay now let's find the rar file type okay this one is rar and this one is zip this one rar and this one zip okay now let's try install the rar file type it doesn't support as well you see okay now let's try install package this one can only be done if your file is package type and not the no npdrm file type you have to extract it first from zip rar or 7z and then open the extraction folder and choose the big size one select workbin and then select workbin again the file is installing just wait until it's done it's gonna take a while depending on your file size I don't know if this one works or not because it hasn't been listed but let's just try okay since it's the only one with package file type I found let's just wait let's just wait until it's done it's gonna take a while just be patient I hope it's working because this game is very great all this but do this okay almost done okay it's done installation complete see it's installing so let's try to play it okay let's see if it works oh no it's not working okay next step if you want to uninstall the game you can just hold click and then just delete okay hold click like this and delete application it will just uninstall delete application click ok and then it's done so guys I have taught you everything I know and this emulator is still on early stage I hope this emulator will be better in the future first there are so many bugs and glitches second this emulator hasn't yet supported external SD card and third this emulator hasn't yet supported a safe state and load state I hope it will be implemented in the future so I think that's it guys see you in the next video bye bye